number 10, Final Fight Games. This episode was fine until the last five minutes. The nerd basically outsourced the rest of the review to some other YouTuber. Literally, we are no longer hearing the nerd review the rest of the game. It's just this other guy. Why? Why did he feel like this was necessary? It feels lazy, like he just played the first couple of levels, said fuck this, and got someone else to do the review for him. I remember just skipping ahead to the end because I didn't click on an AVGN episode to hear somebody else talk about the game. What was he thinking? Number 9. Dirty Harry This was the first episode where I really debated if James wrote the script at all. I think the fact that it came after the Earthbound video, which you could tell was a legit passion project from James, just made it all the more obvious. This episode was also the introduction of shitty memes that just didn't feel like James' style. It also had the cringiest joke to ever be in an AVGN episode at the time. Whoever heard of disposable crowbars? Are they actually made of crows? Like aside from the fact that the joke is grade A cringe, it doesn't even make sense. What the fuck does crows have to do with the game other than the fact that crow is the root word of crowbar? What a shitload of fucking bullfuck. That's great. Number 8, Aladdin Deck Enhancer. Seeing Tony on screen got a visceral reaction out of me when I first saw this episode. Mainly because this was around the time when the audience was becoming more aware that James didn't write the scripts. So it was sort of like a big fuck you. Yeah, you don't like that James doesn't write the scripts anymore, but now we're going to come on camera and there's nothing you can do about it. We're fucking taking over. Looking back on this episode, I'll admit Tony's performance was fine. I would have preferred Mike Matei to have played the part, but Tony wasn't offensively bad or anything like that. The true cringe comes when you see the genie pop up. Just cringe dialogue like it's actually difficult to sit through these scenes. Again, it's just something that you can tell James didn't come up with himself. Then the punchline of the episode is when a bunch of other YouTubers deck enhancers explode. I repeat, not something that James would have ever have thought to do on his own. Number 7, Carmageddon 64. Carmageddon? Oh yeah, that's right, I forgot he even reviewed this game. This video wasn't offensively bad like some of the rest on this list, but the fact that this episode is so forgettable means it belongs here. It's just so boring like he sounds uninterested himself, like he's just dead inside reading a script over gameplay footage. You could honestly put episodes like Green Dog, Pac-Man 2, Tag and Dragon, or hell, even Independence Day in this category of extremely forgettable episodes. But for me, I'd say Carmageddon is the king of the forgettables. What an achievement. Number 6, Jurassic Park Trespasser. This whole episode is basically one shitty skit with a collection of other shitty skits. And similar to Final Fight games, James gets some other YouTuber to come in and actually review a segment of the game himself. The anger is a little lacking in this episode, but I don't really mind that, and the actual segments where the nerd reviews the game himself are fine. What the fuck is this? Oh yeah, I forgot about this. Well, this was pretty fucking cringe. I guess he saved all his anger for this one skit. And this skit with Justy, I gotta give credit where it's due. This skit was actually pretty well executed. There's just too much inflatable dinosaur costumes in this episode. Like it really gets thrown in your face. The final skit, the punchline is that Seamus Blackley is a dinosaur? Okay, I mean, what the fuck? I mean, this episode is just a complete fucking mess. Number 5, Black Tiger. You might be surprised that I'm even ranking this video as high as number 5. Maybe you would have ranked it lower, like number 2 or even number 1. Yes, the game review itself sucks, but I thought Gilbert Gottfried was funny. You might want to be a bit nicer about the game, considering the fact that I'm the one with the motherfucking rifle! Okay. Not everything he said was funny, because at the end of the day, he's reading a script that was most likely not entirely written by James. If I can only find little 10 second clips of the video that I enjoyed, and they have nothing to do with the game review or the nerd himself, then the episode just sucks. 
Could you imagine if they didn't get Gilbert Gottfried to play Fred Fox and they got Kier and Tony or Justy to play the part? Then I would have safely have ranked this episode lower. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm just the guy who built a computer in the jungle without electricity or internet. I'm not educated enough for the guy who talks about buffalo shit in his basement. Number four, Game Gear VHS. What happens when you take a forgettable episode and pair it with the fact that it's actually hard to stay engaged enough to watch it to completion? You get the Game Gear VHS episode. This episode is so boring that I don't have much to say about it. The last time AVGN reviewed VHS tapes was when he reviewed TMNT 3. But the TMNT 3 episode was awesome because you knew James grew up with that movie. He genuinely had a lot of things to say about it and sounded really angry. Here, James feels so disconnected from what he's reviewing, like he's just reading a script over VHS tapes. He basically just describes what we are watching with a monotone voice. Then the ending punchline skit is just him with a wig, talking weird, mimicking the flashy Sega commercials. Okay, I mean, he did a much better job rehashing the Sega commercials with his SNES vs. Genesis video. Look at what Sega Genesis has got. Number three, Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. Similar to the Game Gear VHS episode, it's really hard to watch this one all the way through. I rank it worse than Game Gear because at least that episode was shorter at 12 minutes. The Fear and Loathing episode is 27 fucking minutes long. Like, damn, did it really need to be that long? I feel bad even disliking this episode because all the references to the movie are actually on point, and there's a lot of references to other past nerd episodes too. You can tell this took a lot of effort to make, and I appreciate the ambitiousness of it. I tried rewatching it before making this video, and it's so difficult to keep myself engaged, I kept finding myself looking down at my phone throughout the episode. I really don't have much to say about this. This episode, plus the episode that's going to be number one on this list, are the only two episodes that I could not bring myself to finish. Number two, Shrek Fairy Tale Freakdown. You knew this episode was going to be on the list. This skit in this episode is by far the worst skit ever to be an AVGN. I actually enjoyed him reviewing the game. I thought Shrek's face was hilarious, and I thought it was funny when the nerd confused Shrek with Toy Story. I love Shrek. Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you got a friend in me? Yeah, you got a friend. Oh, that was Toy Story. Fuck. But holy shit, this skit has zero substance to it. When I saw those cultists walking in the snow with that ear-scrambling music, I cringed of embarrassment. Basically, this cult is out to get the nerd, they kidnap him, and kill him. Like, that's it? I was just waiting for the punchline and it never came. Remember in Bugs Bunny Crazy Castle when the nerd died? It was epic as shit and it was fitting that Bugs Bunny would get the nerd killed because he was getting revenge on the nerd from getting shit on in the face in the Bugs Bunny birthday blowout episode. But here, it's just a random cult. The nerd doesn't even put up a fight and he just dies? It's like they forgot the fucking punchline. Take away this entire skit and this could have been an okay episode. I just thought that the cringe, the emotions that I felt when watching this episode was so epic that it deserves to be number two on this list. Number one, chronologically confused about Kingdom Hearts. This is the only nerd episode where just from reading the fucking title made me extremely angry. I was actually nervous to click on it when it first came out. Yes, my heart was racing. Anybody that's a fan of James knows he doesn't know a fucking thing about Kingdom Hearts. And you need to remember, this episode came out in January 2019, around the time that the diehard audience was becoming more and more aware that James was not writing the scripts. Having that awareness and seeing the title of the video, I can't even explain the emotions I was feeling. I felt like I was betrayed. 
I thought AVGN was over and there was no coming back from this. I only watched it for a few minutes before shutting it off. But how fitting that this was the episode to kick off 2019, because when I look at all the episodes that came out that year, in my opinion, 2019 was debatably the worst year for Angry Video Game Nerd. There could always be new nerd episodes coming out, and they might meet my approval or might not. But it seems even with the shittiest episodes nowadays, no matter how shitty, Nothing will ever surpass my experience watching the Kingdom Hearts episode of AVGN. And when compared to all the shitty episodes like Charlie's Angels, Superman 64 Returns, or episode 200, it begs the question, is Kingdom Hearts the standard for shittiness? Or is it so far below standard, so unbelievably offensive, that it lets you enjoy the normal shitty episodes? In the same way, I wonder if the past nerd set an unreasonable expectation for the future nerd. Do we hold 2022 episodes in such high regard because they're better? Or just not shit? Even as strangers, we can have a shared connection talking about shitty AVGN episodes. And that is nothing to be happy about. That disappointment in its simplest form can be as simple as asking someone, Hey, do you remember the AVGN episode of Kingdom Hearts? And the answer is always, unfortunately, yeah.